Hey folks, Jim Fortson here, MindAuthority.com, and I want to share what I believe, what I know, is one of the most powerful commercials that I've ever seen, and it's only 19 words. A couple of years ago, actually it was probably probably about 15 years ago, there was a Tylenol commercial, okay? And again, this is one of the most uh, unconsciously influential, meaning it had an effect upon people and they didn't even know that it was having an effect upon them. So I Googled it, I, I YouTubed it, I couldn't find it, but I'm going to tell you what the commercial is and then I'm going to go right through it and then come back and tell you why the commercial is so powerful, okay? This commercial demonstrates just about everything that I teach, meaning how to persuade and how to influence unconsciously and ethically, and people don't even know that it's happening. Okay, commercial comes on around the first week of November. Little boy sitting on a bed, cute little boy. He's sniffling, he's sneezing, the music is soft. You can see rain pattering down on the windows. You can see the trees swaying in the background. The narrator comes on and he says, Moms, cold and flu season is here. When your little one gets sick, you can depend on children's Tylenol. That's it. Moms, cold and flu season is here. When your little one gets sick, you can depend on children's Tylenol. Okay, let's look at why this commercial is so powerful. First, Marketing 101. They're calling out to their target market, moms. Notice they're not saying caretakers, dads, nannies, you know, whomever. They're saying moms. Okay, now the commercial starts the first week of November. Moms, cold and flu season is here. Here's where this commercial becomes powerful. If the viewers, you, do not actually question that, if you do not say, hmm, is it here? Is it not here? I don't know. Maybe cold and flu season was here the first week of November last year, but maybe not this year. When I have live audiences, I'll say, okay, pull out your day planners. When is Thanksgiving? And people will say, well, the third Thursday, Thursday, the 25th, 24th, 27th, whatever it is. And I'll say, great. When is the first day of cold and flu season? And people start laughing because there is no first day of cold and flu season. So when that narrator said that, and if you're a mom and you heard that, moms, cold and flu season is here. If you do not analyze, or did not analyze, it's a past commercial, if you did not analyze that, you have now accepted that suggestion and you're operating on it. I'll say that again. You've accepted that suggestion and you're operating on it. Now, when moms start operating on that, they tell their kids, bundle up, bundle up, stay warm. You're going to get sick, you're going to get sick, you're going to get sick, which in itself, these are suggestions. Now the little one gets sick. Second part of the commercial, when your little one gets sick. Notice they didn't say if, they didn't say in case, they didn't say your little one might get sick. They said when your little one gets sick, which means they are already presupposing they are already planning the suggestion your little one will get sick, not a matter of if, matter of when. And then the last part is, you can depend, depend is a power word because we want to depend on things when it comes to our little ones, you can depend on children's Tylenol. Now essentially, um, essentially what, what's happened there is that the commercial, the narrator has put down a suggestion when consumers pick up the, that suggestion and they start operating on it, it becomes a belief for them, okay? That's the power of words. That is the power of unconscious persuasion and influence and leading people where you want them to go, ethically, of course, um, without them even knowing that it's happening. Okay, so I just wanted to give you that commercial to demonstrate the power of words on us unconsciously. And the point is this, we, me, you, all of us, we buy, buy, buy unconsciously, not even knowing why we buy. We actually buy unconsciously and then rationalize analytically, which is the subject of another video. Okay, like all my videos, go below, leave your comments, leave your thoughts, come on back, watch more videos, learn more, take plenty of notes, take techniques, everything you're learning, take it out to use it to close more business. This is Jim Fortin, MindAuthority.com. I'll catch you over on another video. Thanks. Bye-bye.